All right, good morning, everyone. This is Friday Night Rex. Um, I'm recommending, as you can see by the title, this because these are supposed to be about movies I don't think get enough love. And I don't think this does. <clears throat> it's a freaking hilarious movie with so many cameos. It is so hilarious. I mean, just, I mean, I mean, look who's in it. I mean, come on. I mean, you got Seth Rogen. You've got James Franco, Jonah Hill, Jay, I can't pronounce his freaking last name, so shoot me, I'm sorry, Danny McBride, Greg Robinson, Michael Sierra. <laughs> I just rewatched it. <laughs> Emma Watson, oh my god, Emma Watson. She was brilliant in it. Oh god, who else is in this? Uh, Rian, uh, Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd? Oh, are they playing Paul Rudd? They're all playing weird variations of their... In other words, they're taking aspects of themselves and taking it to the extreme, you know? And it's just... It's so freaking hilarious and funny. So basically what's going on is James Franco is throwing a party in his house. And... Basically, Jay and Seth are kind of wanting to, you know, have fun and do all the stuff with all the, you know, crazy stuff. Um, and, you know, kind of some stuff happens. And it's just, you know, it's, it's kind of an exaggerated real life. You know, like you go to a party and... Everybody else is having fun, and you're left in the corner going, I don't get it. I don't understand what's going I don't. I don't understand the, you know, when groups of people have their own little cliques and stuff. They're in jokes and things. But while they're doing all of that, and they're in James Franco's house, the apocalypse happens. So you have these drunk, drugged-out celebrities freaking out. Chasm opens up in front of the house. Oh my god, some of the people that fall into it, you know, and it's just, it is so flipping hilarious. Um, it's like a dark comedy. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for kids, um, like 15 and under. Uh, because there is graphic nudity, brief, but graphic, sexual content. It's very crude. I mean, it's crude. It's, I mean, look who's in it. I mean, freaking just Franco, Jonah Hill, and Seth Rogen, those three alone, you should know, it's going to be a very crude and raunchy movie. And it is. But it is so flipping. Oh, Backstreet Boys also show up in it. Um, <coughs> so along with <coughs> Channing Tatum. Um, but it is just, it is so, I mean, there's a hilarious scene where Rian slaps Michael Sienna, and I think she did it for real. Hello. So, I mean, it, it's just... Basically, the, the rapture happen, happens. Apocalypse hits the earth. And they basically barricade themselves inside of Franco's house and try to survive on whatever they have in the house. Which, I mean... They're not prepared. Um, so it, it, it's really funny watching everything just sort of collapse around them and they're still in their little weird celebrity kind of weirdness, which again, it's all exaggerated. It's not who they really are. They just take an aspect of what they know people think and exaggerated the hell out of it. And it is so funny. Uh, it, it, it's, it, cause, and I don't want to give away spoilers other than the rapture happens. I mean, I can literally tell you what it says here on when you when you google it right in the right hand side it says in hollywood actor jay franco is throwing a party with a slew of celebrity pals among them in attendance is jonah seth jay danny craig and suddenly the apocalypse of biblical proportions happens causing untold carnage amongst tinsel towns elite which is absolutely hilarious how some of these people are killed and trapping uh franco's party in his house, or party guest in his house. Um, and of course, all the crap that's going on in the house, they start they start tearing themselves apart. They start, you know, freaking out over each other. It's just, 
it's something I can't describe because it's going to be spoilers, so it's like, I don't want to give anything away other than it's a contained movie within that house and what happens when you're cooped up in an enclosed environment and stuck with the same people for however many days. I don't even know if they ever said how many days they were in there. Um, but it is an absolutely hilarious movie. Uh, but again, if you're not into dark humor, uh, crude humor, pothead humor, I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty crude, which is why I'm saying, you know, maybe a 13 year old boy, but a girl would just be like, oh my God, that is like so disgusting. Oh my God, that was my Valley Girl speak. Oop. Um, but yeah, it's. I, it is, it is, it's a low ball, crude comedy, which I love, and I don't think gets enough love, though it does have high ratings. It's got three and a half stars, four stars, it's got three and a half at IMDb, four stars of Rotten Tomatoes, Amazon has got three and a half. So, <clears throat> I do agree with a couple other reviewers who say you probably should watch Pineapple Express before watching this. Um just to get to know something about these guys and kind of the mentality they're working with. But I love the fact that they got so many people in this. So many well-known actors playing themselves or exaggerated versions of themselves. It's just, it is so funny. I absolutely, I, I, I love this movie and I watch it. And it came out in 2013. So it wasn't that long ago. And I have watched it numerous times since then. Just because it's so funny, and I'm not a Christian, so but I still find it absolutely hilarious. Especially the ending with, again, the Christianity stuff comes into play, and it's just so funny what happens. I mean, it's just... <sighs> yeah, I just, yeah, definitely. <laughs> the last, last, like, portion of the movie, the last section of it, I can't even think of the word right now. It's just priceless. It's just, yeah. Um, there are no opening credits other than the studio logos in the title. So there's no, none of that long, drawn-out, you know, intro stuff. It just, boom, right into it. Which is kind of nice. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's really... I know there was a lot of ad-libbing in this. <clears throat> I'd only bring up several times Pineapple Express 2. I remember that. Hello? Really? Okay. That was a weird noise. Um, a bit of trivia. All the paintings in the background, all the paintings you see on the walls and everything in James Franco's house, he painted those. He actually did. Sorry. Oh, it's allergy. We have two allergy seasons here in Arizona. But yeah, I highly recommend it. It is a great movie. <coughs> Again, sorry. Freaking allergies. But yeah. If you enjoy the movie, please comment, like the video, share, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys next Friday. I know this is short, it's just allergy season, I can't talk for long or else, as you notice, I start coughing. post nasal drip. It stinks. Would have used another word, but don't make it in trouble. So, see you guys next time.